everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video i'm going to teach you the concept of quasi convexity which is yet another important concept on which we have received a lot of requests from our students we have already done a video on quasi concavity if you wish to see that please go to the link below in the description box so what is quasi convexity in the video of quasi concavity i have explained enough about these two concepts so please first go and watch that video and then you can continue watching the quasi convexity video so quasi convexity is a weak notion of convexity as if a function is convex so what do we understand here like in the video of quasi concavity i was telling you that lambda a plus 1 minus lambda b is going to give you a point between a and b so when i put these two points the f of that point is going to give me a value over the function correct i have explained enough about this point in the video of quasi concavity so if you haven't watched that video first please go and watch that and then continue with this one So lambda a plus one minus lambda b is going to give you a point between a and b. So the f of that point, the functional value of that point, has to be less than the maximum value out of f of a and f of b. So it's something reverse of quasi concavity. In quasi concavity, I was just talking about the minimum values that the value at the point which is in the middle of a and b has to be greater than minimum. over here the value of the point which is in between a and b has to be less than the maximum taken out of f of a and f of b a very important assumption is that lambda has to be between 0 to 1 because you are giving weight you cannot give weight greater than 1 because the maximum weight you can give to some observation is 1 and the minimum weight which you can give is 0 so let's come and have a look here so let me say that okay this point is a over here and this point is b over here so when i say lambda a plus 1 minus lambda b it's going to be something here it can be anywhere like it can be tilted towards a or it can be more towards b so let me take on an average it is in the center of a and b so let me call this point as lambda a plus 1 minus lambda b so when corresponding to that i found its value on the function i get the point on the y axis which is at this point f of lambda a plus 1 minus lambda b this is the value now i want this value to be less than the maximum out of f of a and f of b so from a and b this is f of a and this is f of b which is maximum f of b is maximum so i want this value to be less than f of b which is happening here you can clearly see that f of b is maximum and this value is clearly smaller than that so it means this function over here has fulfilled the condition of quasi convexity so it means this graph over here is of a quasi convex function so this is the graphical method to check quasi convexity after this let us have a look over here so in the video of quasi concavity i was telling you about two important facts right so those two important facts have some applicability here also so in that video i was talking about monotonic functions of one variable in the same way i have this linear function so linear function will be in terms of one variable only it will be in terms of one variable only so let us say ki this is x variable so this is f of x correct linear functions are always monotonic as well as you can see this function is increasing even if i try to draw like this it's going to be decreasing so if i talk about this or that it's the both of them are monotonic so i have a linear function which is increasing throughout for all the values of x hence this is going to be monotonic so according to the facts i told there this function should be quasi concave 
this function should be quasi concave but if you come and have a look closer look at this point here let me say that this is a and let me call this point as b so if i take any point between them the value at that point will be less than the maximum value which is at f of b since f of a is minimum f of b is maximum so it means this function over here is satisfying quasi convexity also because the point in the middle of a and b is less than f of b which is max so it means this function is quasi convex also is it possible that if a function is quasi concave it can also be quasi convex yes it is totally possible the condition is the function has to be monotonic in one variable so whenever a function is monotonic in one variable it will be both quasi concave as well as quasi convex so my linear functions which are in one variable and they are always monotonic will be quasi concave as well as quasi convex always so it's a very important thing to remember over here so linear function is going to be both now when i come to this function this is a graph which is very similar for us this is a graph of log x function so over here as you can see log x function is fulfilling the conditions of both quasi concavity and convexity how let's just check so if this is point a and this is point b over here this is f of a and this is going to be f of b so if i try to find a point between them this the value at this point is less than the maximum value which is f of b and the value at this point is greater than the minimum value so when it is greater than the minimum value it satisfies quasi concavity and when it is smaller than the maximum value it satisfies the conditions of quasi convexity so hence this is also a both function the quasi concave as well as quasi convex because log x is also a monotonic function of one variable okay let's come back to this slide so this is something which is similar which you also saw in the video of quasi concavity yes so i make you understand the topic of quasi concavity through this graph so over here again as you can see this is again a quasi concave curve but also it's a monotonic function it's increasing so this function was quasi concave there but it is also going to satisfy the conditions of quasi convexity as you can see any point between a and b will always be less than the f of b which is the maximum value any point whichever point you take between them will be less than f of b so it means whenever so it means it can definitely happen that a function which was quasi concave can also be proved as quasi convex i hope these concepts are clear to you now if you want more such videos please let us know below in the comment section like this video share this with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you everyone